how to get an adult daughter to seek help. We feel she is stuck with the eating disorder. Who is her friend? So, yeah, I mean, people often describe the eating disorder as their friend um, because often the eating disorder makes their lives so isolated that really they're just left with the eating disorder. The eating disorder is so much in their head. It, you know, promises to make them feel better. It promises to um, help them feel like, um, like they're, they're winning at life, like they have all the answers to make their life perfect. So it's incredibly seductive. It's an incredibly seductive idea. Um, so how do you get an adult person to seek help? Well, it all starts with a conversation, a conversation about how you see the situation and your willingness to offer help and support. Um, I think the key things are to take on board the idea that without open communication lines, it's very difficult to try and get anybody to do anything. So you need to start off by um, having an initial conversation and thinking of that conversation as the first of many conversations. Bring down your expectations of that first conversation. You're not going to solve the problem. You're not going to convince the person to go and do X, Y and Z. But really, what do you want to communicate in that initial conversation? You want to say to them, I'm really concerned about you because I see this, I notice this, this is how your life has changed, all of these very concrete things. Okay, so list them in your head, have them ready. You don't need the person to agree with you because chances are they're not going to be able to, even if a part of them does agree with you. So you're not asking for them to say, yes, mum, you're right, or no, dad, you know. You're not asking for that. You just need to talk from your own perspective. So say why you're concerned. Try not, you know, we would always say, try not to focus on what the person is doing, focus on how the person is feeling. So try to avoid, you know, conversations around their eating behaviours and what they're doing, because really that's not it. You know, try to have, you know, try to say, I'm wondering how are you feeling these days? Are you feeling stressed? I notice that you're very stressed. Is there anything that I can do um, to help? Or do you think that, you know, there's anything that could be of help to you? Um, and just leave it at that as an initial conversation. Just open it up and leave it at that and say, look, I don't want to talk any more about it. But in a few days, maybe we can have another conversation. And so a few days later, come back and say, did you think about anything I said? And I suppose what you have in your back pocket all the time is the idea that at some point you are going to say, look, really, I think nobody can do this on their own that everybody can benefit from a bit of help and what about looking into it? So you make it all very gentle, very tentative and there's no shoulds about any of it. With an eating disorder, if you bring in the idea of the should, that person is just going to shut down and not want to talk to you at all. Um, so that's how I think you could approach helping an adult person to seek help.